Shadowam, Shadowam, this is Kapaya, aka Pops, out of gym at Chicago, with another sit down. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakodash. To the apostles and elders of GMS at New York, I want to send double honors because they do well. For the brethren around the world, push this truth on cut on filter, giving you the good, the bad, and the ugly of the scriptures, correctly breaking down the prophecies and interaction with, uh, interaction with people on planet, declaring one, I send salutations for the hopeful elect, I hope this is edifying, aqua, few and true, that listens to said and charity, keep doing so. But for the scorners, call for reprobate two thirds, Israelites, and 17 other nations who send the message to Jacob's trouble. It's going to get a whole lot worse. You know, it's a funny thing. How everybody wants to try to be inside that covenant that went from Abraham to Isaac, and from Isaac to Jacob, and from Jacob to his 12 sons, and then. His two grandsons, Ephraim and Manasseh, wind up getting a part of it like that. Okay, you know, to being substitute tribe of Dan and the tribe of Joseph being substituted with Ephraim and Manasseh. Anyway, funny thing about that is the fact that no matter what it is that you want as a person, is what is the will of your how or why your how shot is the question okay that's the question that you have to ask yourself what is what what you want does it fit under the under the header per se of what your how or why your how or shot wants if it doesn't fit up under that header it don't matter how much you cry about it it ain't gonna happen you know that uh plantation christianity was on display today at work. And I didn't get into it. You know. Uh, flexed a little bit of knowledge. Just a little bit as far as my history. And this, that, and other. But as far as. Uh, beating the person down to the. To the thing with the with the scriptures and all that. No, I didn't do that. We passed that point. Ain't no reason for me to do that. Especially at my job. Okay. But the reason I say that is because I'm going here with this. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Ye do err not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. Now this was talking about the resurrection and all these other kinds of things. But the world errs, errs, makes, makes a mistake not knowing the scriptures. And think that they can get it to slide in and do whatever it is that they want it to do. That ain't what the Lord said. His scriptures it, it is worded a particular way through the prophets. Time and time again. So that the point that he wants to have happen is not mixed up or confused or, or, or diluted or misconstrued. Okay. His words are his words. His words are going to do exactly what it is that he wants them to do. Isaiah 55 and 11 states just that. Let's go here. 55 and 11. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. And how is it, who's his mouthpiece? The prophets. So the prophets are going to tell you what the Lord is saying. The interpretation of it, the breakdown of it, the whole deal. All these people want to try to include themselves into the covenant. The covenant isn't open like that. The covenant was given to the Israelites with Moses at the mount. And those are the only people that, that's been deemed worthy to be that. Those are the only ones that are his pe chosen people. He's got a chosen people. And nobody wants to deal with that idea that the Lord has a chosen people. And that's why the rest of the world hates the Israelites. Because the Lord did choose a certain people. The Israelites. And because he chose them and not them. And they can be on their way 
and be put aside and put back, you know, they, they have a problem with it. God tried to give me all his conjunction and feeling and this, that, and other. It ain't even for me to break his heart. Like I said, I met the job, so I'm definitely not going to get into that or whatever the case might be. You know, you better hope that he's an Israelite, you know. He don't have no real swag to it, but you better hope that his, his bloodline somewhere goes back to that of an Israelite on the male side. Okay, because if not, then he could be SOL. Okay, because the Lord word is going to is going to prosper in the thing that he wanted to send it. And since he said that there's a covenant and a group of people, a particular group of people, a chosen people, and now it even goes into the election of Israel, the Israel of Israel, that, that isn't a wide open door that anybody can wash his ass in and, and, and think that they belong, okay? See, because they get this John 3.16, and, and it fucks them up. It, get, it gets them to believe something that's not real. Okay, well, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And they, this is a staple. They'll stand on this. They'll, they'll, beat this. they'll beat this with their chest till there's not, nothing else. They'll beat a hole in their chest trying to push this scripture. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But they don't get into none of this. But okay, so now let's go inside this same book and go to seventeen and nine before I even come back to that scripture. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. So it says, "For God so loved the world." That he gave his only begotten son. And, the, and when you see world there in, in, in 316, it's the same world that you see here in, in uh, 17 and 9. So let's go into that word world there. That's a quick second. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. That world is G889. That's cosmos. Okay. An app, a harmonious arrangement, a constitution, order, government, ornament, declaration, ornament, i.e. arrangement of the stars. Arrangement of the stars. Remember that. A, an adornment, i.e. the arrangement of the stars. When you look up in the heavens, you see a galaxy. When you single out a particular group of stars... That's a cosmos. Cosmos. Like all the stars up there don't, when you look up in the sky, all the stars don't make up the Big Dipper. You got a particular group that make the Big Dipper. You got a particular group that makes the Little Dipper. Okay? So on and so on. You got, you got star constellations that make up particular arrangements in the heavens. And that's what the world, that is what the Lord is saying when he says that. Cosmos. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go to number eight here. Any aggregate or general collection of particulars of any sort. Particulars of any sort. You got different races of people, then you got a particular race of people. That's what a cosmos is, a particular. Something that's separated. Something that's been put aside. In this case, something that the Lord looks upon and, and, and deems it his own. Okay? So... So, so when he says, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. So he's not even praying for the whole world of Israel. But for them which thou hast given me. So that's a particular group of Israel, of Israelites that the Lord gave 
Yahweh gave to Yahweh Shai. And that's who Yahweh Shai is praying for. That's who he's looking for. That's, that's who he shed his blood for. And that's who he's coming back to get. Okay? And all these people that think that they could be a part of that. The, frivolously, not knowing the scriptures. Are going to be into a going to be for a sad awakening, a sad awakening. Go to the end game, as brothers like to say. The end game. Let's go to Revelation seven and nine. Okay, when you read this, you start at the beginning of seven. It goes through the twelve thousand of each tribe. That's one hundred and forty-four thousand. I, think, I don't think that there's a man in GMS that's not hoping for and praying and asking Yahweh Bashim Shah to let them be part of that. But if they can't be part of that, then they'll take being part of the election. Okay? Just don't let them be found a two-thirds. Just don't let them be set for destruction on that level. Okay? Don't, don't, please don't let them have to be part of the, the group that has to go through the, the gnashing of teeth. The welling of souls and the gnashing of teeth in the lake of fire. Okay, so now this goes at, from seven and one down to nine of the 12,000 of each tribe. But then you get down here to the ninth and it's, and this is where everybody wants to try to call themselves wanting to be at. When the saint, oh, when the saints come marching in, oh, when the saints come marching in, oh, how I want to be in that number. When the saints come marching in, now the saints is a particular group, and the Lord has got them separated. All right. So now this is Revelation 79. After this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number. So they said I got to be able to be, be able to be a part of that number at least. Of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues. See they see this. See everybody man. Everybody got a shot. And tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb which is Yahweh shy. Clothing with white robe and palms in their hands. Okay, that's where you get that Eastern Palm Sunday shit at. Okay, or Eastern Palm Sunday at. I ain't gonna call it shit. My mistake. But like I said, you know, you get so many things that are hooked to uh, this fucking Edomite Esau's kingdom that you gotta kind of remember that some of the things, even though he, he, he's got a funky twist on it. Okay, you know, they 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 did lay down uh, uh, things in front of of uh, Yahweh Shai and and was saying uh, uh, Hosanna, okay, you know, son of David, you know, riding in on a coat, okay, the whole deal. So I, I apologize for that that slip of the tongue there. But, you know, like I said, because, see, this guy across from where I stay has got a couple palms taped to his door from last Easter. Like, what is that supposed to be about? I don't know. If somebody can, if somebody can, can, can look that up or whatever the case might be and inform me, I appreciate it. But anyway, so here we go. So this is what they think. Okay, we're white, we're uh, lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Okay, so I'm not going to get mad at the palms because of the fact that this is here and this is what they're going to be holding. So like I said, I, I, I truly apologize. But sometimes I get so frustrated with some, some of these customs and, and, and the, uh, the inability for people to understand what it means at that time. That it frustrates me. Okay, so I apologize. But okay, palms in their hand. Now let's go to this stuff. All all nations and kindreds and people. Kindreds. G five four four three. Fule, 
a tribe in the New Testament, all the persons descended from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. 12 sons. Okay. In the New Testament. So this is Revelation. This is the New Testament. All the persons descended from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. That's who the fool is. That's who is standing there among this. That's who is the that, is that collection of multitude. Israelites. Foreigners, Gentiles, whatever it might be. You know, when, when we didn't know who we were here in GMS, we was part of the Gentile nation. Okay? We didn't know who we were. But the Lord woke us up and brought us back. And that's who the Lamb is praying for. That's who the Lamb has come to save. To put the hopeful elect. So, everybody trying to get into the covenant. Covenant, covenant ain't, ain't cut for everybody. Okay? Everybody can't make that cut. You know. The, and the Lord has already deemed it. So you can't, you can't put yourself in it. And you can't pluck yourself out of it. So I hope that's edifying. I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akakodash, to the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York. I want to send double honors because they do rule well. For the brethren around the world, push this truth on cut off filter, giving you the good, the bad, and the ugly of the scriptures. Correctly break it down, prophecy and interaction with people on planet, declaring warning, I send salutations. Hopefully, like, again, like I said, I hope that's edifying, aqua, few, and true. Let's listen to say the charity keep doing so. Scorn the scoff for reprobate to the Israelites, 17 other nations who are in the midst of Jacob's trouble. It's going to get a whole lot worse. So the first group, a hearty shallow arm, and the second group, a barber ball.